Yo guys, what is going on? It's me, EG Magic here. And uh, today, I thought I would give you guys a little setup video. So, I mean, here's my setup. I have uh, the amazing uh, Arazi gaming desk. I'm probably going to put everything that I have in my setup uh, in a link in my description. So, uh, look down there for that. And also, uh, go, on, go down into the comments. Roast me for this cable management. I know it's trash. Let me get some lights in there. Look at that. Cable management is definitely not the best thing about this machine, but it's a good machine. A good machine then nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna run you guys through my setup real quick. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a chill video. So basically, I have the uh, Acer GN246, I believe, L uh, variant. The only issue that I have with this uh, monitor is that with my uh, graphics card, which I'm going to get to in a few minutes here, uh, it's not compatible because my graphics card does not have any uh, dual link or VGA or DVI cables at all, really. So I can't use my 144Hz for this monitor, so that's why I picked up a new sync monitor. It was a relatively cheap monitor. And uh, if I go to my NVIDIA panel real quick, sorry for my extremely messy desktop but if i go here to the you know bit because this is a crappy monitor uh this goes up to 2k 144 hertz and that's what that looks like a lot larger but i don't really like playing like that so i keep it at 1080 but yeah other than that i mean i have the uh rocket vulcan gaming uh, keyboard it has their custom Titan switches everything will be in the link of, uh, everything will be linked uh, in the description by the way I have some uh, I have some hyper X cloud s revolvers uh, they're extremely comfortable I definitely I definitely suggest them although they do They do tend to get a little bit heavy, and they're uh, too big for some people. Uh, I know that Kuno, whenever he comes over and he like puts my headset on, uh, he always says that they're they're a tad bit too big for his liking. So if you don't like big uh, headsets, then definitely don't get that headset. Um, I mean, I have my PS4 controller here with some uh, added attachments. I mean, really, it's just these grips, and usually I have an extra uh, extension here, but it fell off. But basically, after that, we, we got the Doritos back here in the corner next to the PC in between the monitors. I mean, this is my favorite my favorite flavor of Dorito, Cool Ranch. I don't really like the nacho, too much cheese. And then up here, we have a, we have a, a tie, because why not? But we also have uh, some extra G Fuel packets. We have uh, lemonade and blue ice. And then I know that I ripped the uh, I ripped the labeling off of this, but I ripped the labeling. I ripped the lab labeling. I can't speak. I ripped the labeling. Oh dear God. <laughs> I ripped the labeling off of this, but I'm going to show you right here. You guys can't see or smell, but this is a uh, Keemstar's cotton uh, cotton candy flavored G Fuel. I personally do not like G Fuel that much. Uh, I mean, leave a comment if you like G Fuel, or like if you're like a big G Fuel fanboy, or like even if you just don't like G Fuel. Uh, I'd love to know because I'm I'm really interested in how people can like G Fuel. It leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. But other than that, I have, um... I'm forgetting... Oh, there it is. I have the Logitech G903 mouse. It has a, an interesting... It has a weird uh, sensor. So it has a way different uh, sense than... Uh, mouses like Razer's or... Any other mouse for that reason. So it's, it's a more difficult mouse. I don't really recommend it. But it's a decent mouse. It's actually meant to be Bluetooth. There's a, uh, there's just, it came with this little case down here. 
and whenever you open this case it has this u little uh, USB dongle that you can plug in and customizable side buttons as long as more weights so if you need weights for your mouse even though this is an extremely heavy mouse you can put those in down here just pop that off put the weights in but uh, basically these buttons on the side they're all magnets so they come off pretty easily now you guys can't see that really these buttons right here they uh, come off pretty easily because they're magnetized and you can switch uh, which hand this is for left or right so that's why those come off dear lord I gotta set you guys down just so that I can get that back on right here I have my Huion or whatever it is I just dropped the pamphlet <laughs> I have my Huion uh, drawing tablet here uh, I'm sorry if everything's dark here guys it's just my room I live in a basement like literally basically Patrick's house but uh this is a drawing tablet I use for some GFX stuff I am um, I've edited some interesting things on this but it's a lot of fun I thoroughly enjoy GFX I used to say that I was a GFX artist but then I noticed that I was absolute shit at it so I just stopped so let me just close this up real quick toss that on the ground um, there's another PC right here. It has an RX 580 in it. And, um, you know, decent specs. It has some good RAM in it that I just put in the other day. But other than that, it doesn't really get used much. It's kind of right in the middle of my room. Um, in this PC, however, this PC has some godlike specs. So I'm going to go over that right now. In this PC. Let me bring up Task Manager for you guys. In this PC, there is... Okay, basically, uh, here are the specs for my PC. I have, well, for my CPU, I have an i9-9900K, clocked at 3.6 gigahertz. Um, I believe, uh, 8 core, 16 thread and uh, yeah I mean I haven't overclocked anything and I probably am not going to I don't really have much experience with that but let's look at RAM so basically I have 32, 32 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz RAM um, dual channel of course there's all those uh, fun specs down there uh, I mean, there's not really much to the disc. I have, <clears throat> I have two SSDs. One is a Samsung uh, SSD 860 Evo one terabyte, and the other is a 250 gigabyte SSD. Uh, I mean, they're both almost full. So, I have an Ethernet connection uh, wired to the back of my PC, and then for my GPU, I have. RTX 2080 Ti and uh, I mean there's all that fun stuff down there drivers information and everything but here's what the, the system looks like here if I just plug off dear lord there we go if I turn this stuff off you can see it a little bit better the glass is a little bit smudged because of my disgusting Dorito hands dear lord that is crusted on there. But basically what you'll see is there's the uh, there's the 2080 Ti, Republic of Gamers. I have some, uh, there's the G-Skill RAM with the uh, uh, water cooling. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I have the Maximus 11 gaming Wi-Fi enabled motherboard. Here's my uh, SSD right there, but it's a pretty solid system. Um, I really, really enjoy playing games on this, of course. Who wouldn't? But that's pretty much it. Uh, another thing is uh, my blue microphone. That's another really, really good uh, addition to one's setup. It's definitely worth it. I love it. The only issue that I have with it is like you have to be like this close for people to hear you, at least on my stream. Uh, I have to be like this close to the microphone for it to even get to the yellow. 
so this isn't even peaking maybe this would be peaking because i'm literally like able to like kiss my microphone but still um that's basically it i mean other than the desk the arazi arena gaming desk it has like this uh, curve here i really like it it has a full desk mouse pad as well it comes with cable management but i don't do that <laughs> Because I'm bad at cable management. Like, I didn't even build this on my own. This is just a lot of cables. Uh, it took us four people to build this. And we still had shit cable management. Uh, I'll probably do a second uh, setup tour for my setup at my mom's house. That one's a lot more neat. The cable management is 20 times better than this. Uh, but yeah, I also have some stickers up here, of course. Join the Republic that oh this is the h500i case uh from i don't even know <laughs> but i mean that's basically it the only other thing that i can uh, show you is my chair here it's a off-brand off-brand main brand gaming chair gtr or gt racing it's a extremely tiny chair <laughs> so i mean it's not a bad chair, I enjoy it, it's very comfortable, it has a headrest, and it even came with another headrest, like a larger one, or a, a lower backrest, I guess, but I don't use it, personally, uh, but I mean, that's really it, I mean, the rest of my room is really messy, so I'm not gonna show you guys that, uh, this is just me showing you guys uh, what I game on, really. So I'm going to have all the links for all the items that I bought on Amazon in my description. But yeah, there's some big stuff coming, guys, on my Twitch channel. That'll also be in the description. Uh, I'm trying to grow my viewer base on there as well as on here. So the more people I get watching on both, I mean, the more, the more content I feel motivated to put out. So keep up the support. I'll keep up the content, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, have an amazing night. I'm probably going to post this tonight, uh, December 8th, around 8 or 9 o'clock. So, hopefully you guys are ready for it. Peace.